try something I haven't tried before, um, which is a bug mystery theater. So a lot of times when I'm uh, at Steve's house, I like to eat the food he cooks and talk about bugs also. So he basically feeds me with amazing food for, you know, some juicy bugs, and I'd like to bring that to you. Um, I'd like to present some interesting bugs I've encountered during my days at Niche and have this be really participatory where you guys try to solve like what is driving the bug. Um, so our CEO has been really, um, really nice about this. He said, sure, you know, you can reveal big bugs we've had in production, that's fine. Um, the only thing he asked is that I didn't use uh, business partner names, so of course I've just turned them all into Steve. Um, so these are real bugs, this is stuff that really happened, and I'd like you to participate as much as possible. So, um, and the goal of this is to just get everyone thinking about, you know, the type of bugs that are out there, things you might encounter, and kind of also more generally, you know, a bug isn't necessarily just something that is a programmer error, but I think you know, we can help solve a lot of issues that are not necessarily just because of a, a missing null check or something, just a lot of different things. Um, so we're going to start out with case XA9. It was the best of guys, it was the worst of guys. So the bug comes in, comes in to me, it says, the first school in the best guys ranking has an F. So to give you a sense, this is our old website. And as you can see, it looks pretty crappy. It's supposed to be the best guys. And what do you guys see is wrong there? <laughs> yeah, college for women is number one with an F. So before I even go any further, can someone take a guess at what's driving this problem? No men. Say it again? No men. No men, right. No men is driving this problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in terms of like a coding error. Something about what? Okay, yes, that's definitely one possibility. F does not have a plus, and the other ones do, so that could be a clue. Any other thoughts? So there's code that um, oh there's code that the ranking is expecting to be there. A null value back. Okay. Um, go ahead. Uh, so it could be a, a div divide by zero, which is infinity, which could cause wonky things. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's what you meant. Gotcha. Go ahead. Someone typed in what? Someone could have typed in the opposite, like a typo. Gotcha. Definitely. I think there's one more. Go ahead. The sorting could be reversed, right. So that could be... Um, it could be going from worst to best instead of best to worst. All right, now I'll show you the code that was related to this and see if you can spot it. Um, can you guys read that? Bastion, do you know where the lights are? All right. So while he's doing that, for those of you who are, have really good eyes, um, so what's happening here is the top method is calling the bottom method. So you are taking a grade as a number and turning it into a letter. You're feeding the grade as a number into that top method, which is then calling the bottom method to get back a letter. Can anyone right off the bat see what the error is here? And this is C-sharp, but um, you, you might be able to spot it even if you haven't worked in C-sharp. Okay, something from the conversion from float to decimal. So Chris noticed that at the top, you are passed in a float, 
which is uh, like a decimal, but it has less precision. Um, and then it's being converted with that system.convert to decimal. Um, so what do you think could be going on there? A anyone feel free to shout out. Good, good thoughts, but no. Go ahead. Uh, okay, so it could be a really small number that's turning into a zero, or no? So, oh, turning into a big number. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that's one possibility. Go ahead. No. All right. Tell me what you mean. Right. You're, you're on the right track. So if you pass a null into that system.convert to decimal at the top, um, can you guys uh, guess what happens there? Zero. Um, system.convert to decimal doesn't handle nulls gracefully. You're not supposed to use it when you have nulls. So as a result, it's going to skip um, all that stuff, it's not going to get to the NA because it's going go, um, to go right to the F because it's going to see it as a zero. Exactly. You'll never hit the return unless you pass in a null directly to the bottom method, right? Or a negative number. Or a negative number. Good, good, good. Okay. So that is it. That was changed to, does anyone know what that would be changed to to fix that bug, that one little conversion thing? Get rid of the nullable decimal. Oh, you mean in the? The parameter is a decimal. Yes, you could. Yeah, probably this thing should be rewritten and refactored to, to, um, yeah, to make this error less prevalent. But my boss just. You could check to see if the decimal is null. You could. Yeah. And then go based on that. That would make sense. Uh, sorry, but how is it, how does it explain why it's appearing? Oh, good question. The way it explains how it's appearing full, first is because um, that all women's college has a null for the men's grade. The null goes into the top, gets turned into a zero, goes to the bottom, gets turned into an F. Well, because it's null, the sorting algorithm is sorting the null. And then the sorting, that's a good point. The sorting is a whole other thing. I don't know why that sorting's happening that way. <laughs> yeah, it has to do with the sorting's on the number itself, so it's sorting null. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, my boss just did, I guess, the easiest thing, which was to translate it to a nullable decimal so it would carry the null down. And so you get to the NA, and then it handles the NA correctly. Um, case closed. Next case. All right. So more and more I'm going to like broaden these so it's not necessarily a coding error, but it could be anything. So try to think loosely here. The case of the runaway traffic, case XJ19. So, all right. I'm going to try to explain this. Bear with me. So stevescholarships.com, a trusted business partner, has an ad to our website, specifically to our No Essay Scholarship, um, and what we would expect to see from that is when people click on that, they go to our scholarship submission page, which doubles as a registration mechanism. When you submit your first scholarship, you're registered on our site. And after you submit that, we expect to see you go to what's called the offers page, which shows you a bunch of offers, which, among other things, helps us make money. It'll show you, like, oh, do you want this test prep service, um, other stuff that admissions type services if you're looking at getting into college. Um, so we really need people to go through this flow so that we can stay in business. Um, so this is the bug that came in. Not sure if this is a bug, but seemed very odd. Um, why do so many people sourced from Steve Scholarships, coming from Steve Scholarships, they end up on the login page with a return URL of the offers page. Now, I'm going to try to parse that. Um, by the way, the graph at the bottom is just what he attached. It just shows that we have thousands of people who land on this mysterious page per day. 
Um, so that's the happy path. That's what we expect to see. This is the unhappy path. We're not sure what explains it. People are ending up on that red login page, which when they log in, will take them to the offers page. So we don't know how that could happen, because what's supposed to happen is you register, you're logged in, and you go to the offers page. What looks like is happening is you're going to the login page it would kick you back to if you were trying to view a logged in page, but you're not logged in. So we're seeing people on this red login page that's saying, hey, you're trying to see a logged, a signed in page, but you need to log in first, and then we'll kick you back to the offers. It's kind of hard to explain. Does that make sense? I'm seeing. Very good. Very good. So that's that's what we that's what we hypothesized based on, um, based on looking at user flows in Google Analytics. People are getting to the offers page. We think they should be logged in, but in fact they're not logged in for some reason. So it kicks them back into the login page. And once they log in, they go to the offers page. Go ahead. Do we know if they're actually even landing on the create account page? Do we know if they're landing on a, the create account page? That is a great question. Um, unfortunately, we have the same page. On, this is on our old website. We have the same page, apply.aspx, whether you're logged in or logged out. So we don't know exactly if they're seeing the create an account page or if they're seeing a logged in version of that page. Um, so based on this, I mean, you can't solve this just from this information, but where would you go? Like, we have the database logs, we have Google Analytics, we have, yeah, go ahead. Look at Steve's scholarships page to make sure that the link is right. Um, very good. Okay, so looking at the Steve scholarship page and look for the link. The other thing I will tell you is this only happens on the Steve scholarship um, ad. We have ads on other sites where it doesn't happen. So based on that, do you have any sense for what you would look for in that link? Okay, let's say for this, we're just passing in source equals Steve. Um, so we have, some, we have some with source equals Steve, some with source equals other stuff. Go ahead. Is it trying to just send you right to the offers page and not even uh, attempt to create an account? It is correctly sending you to that right page, to the, to the page which, if you're logged in, it says apply. If you're logged out, it says create an account. Yeah. Go ahead. Do you have configuration for each place that um, has your ad? That's, that's a great question. We don't have a configuration for each place that has our ad. Theoretically, they should work exactly the same. Yep. Did the person who created the link for Steve Scholarship link from their own account to that page and it included their authentication token? Oh, that's a really interesting point. Um, he asked if the person who created that link included something specific about their authentication token. They didn't. It's just a, it's a, it's a web address without any craziness. Um, so, if, yeah, go ahead. Say, is there some kind of timer that gets set whenever you create an account that keeps them logged in? And that's not either being reset right. or not being reset whenever. Right. So, yeah, you're asking if there's a, is a counter that when you're logged in, there could be something wonky with it. And that is sort of part of what the problem is. It has to do with um, what defines you as being logged in. And just to give a little more of a hint, um, this is only, again, focus on this is only happening for Steve's scholarships, not on Chris's scholarships. He's good. Um, someone else who hasn't talked. Have you talked? You haven't. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that's a great question. So this is only happening to people who have been to the site before, is what we found. Go ahead. Yeah. Cookies. Something with cookies. Yeah. Right. If you clear, if you clear the cookies, then um, you don't get this problem. Oh my god, it's been 15 minutes. 
Sure, yeah, if you're already, if you're already logged in, what's the behavior? The behavior is, um, and this is where my colleague was able to figure it out, he was already logged in, he goes to this site, it, it takes you to a logged in version of that page, and then you submit, and when you try to submit that page, it takes you d down to the bottom page. Page needs to. Okay, since I'm out of time, I'll give you one last hint, which is that the link is slightly different on Steve's scholarship site versus the other ones. What might be different besides a query string? Um, like HTTPS. HTTPS, close. Scoper. You're you're four letters away. HTTPS colon slash slash. What's that? Oh. WWW. W -W -W. Yes. The tech people had told the business people a million times, according to them, that we should not use WWWs. Um, so we ended up with a WWW link, and we had a bug with our authentication where you could be logged in on WWW and logged out on non WWW. So what was happening is these are people who were who were previously logged in, they thought they had logged out, but in fact they were still logged in um, on the WWW, so when they clicked the ad, they saw the logged in version of that page, which bumped them back to, for whatever reason, this directed to a non-WWW where they were logged out, and then they had to log in, and once they did, everything was golden. Case closed. And then we never saw hits to that page again. <laughs> and I'll stop with that one.